Hey guys, my name is Trey Lemon with Tailgater University. We're in the heart of Ybor City. We're talking with Justin Jacobson, the owner of King Corona Cigars. And we're going to be talking with Joel Moore, the head brewer over at Big Storm Brewery. We're unveiling a new beer here today at King Corona Cigars. I'm sitting here with Justin from King Corona Cigars. I'm also sitting here with Joel from Big Storm Brewery. Today we're actually going to be unveiling the new beer for King Corona. Give us a little bit of history about King Corona, where it started and where it's at today. Yeah, uh, King Corona, we're coming up on our 20 year anniversary next month. Uh, I took over in June. It was a uh, very exciting time, a lot of responsibility, but my main goal was to keep the vibe here, keep everything the way it was. and. I can plan to continue to keep going the way that we've been going for the last 20 years. Absolutely, that's great. So, taking over back in June, have you had any troubles facing anything like that? Well, I've been a regular here eight years, 10 years before I took over, so I felt like I had a pretty good grasp on the vibe and the culture here, so it's been pretty fun. So, really want to find out, where did this Big Storm Brewing, King Corona, like where did you guys kind of like meet in the middle right here to be able to form this beer? Well, LJ had come in, uh, one of his old professors is regular here, and he had come here and complimented us on how much he liked our coffee, and I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to make a beer based on the flavor profiles of our most popular coffee, the Cafe Corona. Someone comes here and they want to try this King Corona beer. Give me a little idea, Joel, of what they're going to be tasting. So with the beer, we really wanted to complement uh, those coffee characters as well as some of the sweet, rich flavors in that. You know, there's a nice caramel, a little bit of spice, cayenne pepper. So we wanted to hit those notes, but we also wanted something that would go well with the cigars. We went with a nice amber <coughs> ale, a little red, malty, caramel character, and a can of cayenne right at the end just to balance it all out. Okay. I tell you people, if you haven't had a chance to try it, it's very, very delicious. If you're going to have this beer, what would be a good cigar to really pair this with? Well, the, the cigar we had in mind is our most popular house blend. It's the Light of Ebor. Uh, it's got a Connecticut wrapper. It's real smooth. It's a light smoke, especially great for this Tampa heat. And it's going to go really good with a with a nice amber ale like this. Awesome. I'm really excited to be able to try this. So I know you said something a little bit earlier. Uh, you said you have an anniversary coming up? Yes, we do. It's going to be February 17th. It's a Saturday. It's going to be an all-day event. We're going to have lots of cigar vendors, lots of beer vendors. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> Guys, if you don't have anything going on February 17th, make sure you come out to Ebor, check out King Corona, and be able to come out for the 20th anniversary. Now, everybody wants to know, what's going to be the release date for this beer? I'm looking forward to it. Well, we're going to have a big event for March Madness, and that's when we're planning on releasing it. March Madness, the opening weekend. Awesome. So, March Madness, great beer, awesome place here in Ebor. Can't wait to come out. Thank you, Joel. Appreciate it. Thank you, Justin, for having us out. Guys, this is a great place to come.